Because of its setting, Fallout New Vegas was bound to have a variety of minigames centered around gambling. Even in the turn-based games, there is a specific gambling skill that you can dump points into when you level up. Throughout my years of playing Fallout New Vegas, however, I never really paid much attention to the various games within the casinos on the Strip, as well as in Prim and Freeside, at least not until recently when I decided to perfect Fallout New Vegas. And while casino games like Slots and Blackjack can be fun, addictive, and a great way to get rid of Legion and NCR money, there was one achievement focused around one of the games that I was avoiding for as long as possible. Win 30 games of Caravan. Caravan is a game unique to Fallout New Vegas and can be played with various characters throughout the Mojave. It's also notorious within the Fallout fan base for being confusing as well as infuriatingly unpleasant for anyone who doesn't know how to play. But if I was going to perfect the game, I would have to conquer Caravan. Caravan is a card game, and you use the various cards you find from scavenging or from merchants to play. Each of the three rows represent a caravan for sale. For example, this one is a caravan headed to Shady Sands, and this is a caravan headed to Dayglow. The central idea of the game is to sell three caravans before your opponent. A caravan is sold when its number value goes above 20, because that's when the caravan isn't considered to be too light. But if the number value goes higher than 26, then the caravan becomes overburdened and cannot be sold. It's up to the player to use the cards they have to get their caravan sold before their opponents. You can set your wager amount as well as edit the custom deck you'll use before every match. Some decks are more efficient than others, and even more so with certain combinations of cards. At the start of a game, you have to place at least one numbered card to begin your caravan. Number cards are each worth their value listed and aces are worth exactly one. Whatever card you place after another sets a standard for future cards you place on your caravan. For example, if you place this seven and then place this eight, it becomes an ascending caravan. And now I can only place cards that go higher than the one before it. But if I place this seven and then place this six, it becomes a descending caravan and I can only place cards that are worth less than the one before it. The only exception to this rule is if the cards have the same symbol or suit. Face cards also have their uses in Caravan. When placed, kings will double the numerical value of whatever card it's placed on. If I place this king on this 7, the Caravan's value will be raised from 13 to 20. But kings can also be used on an opponent's Caravan track to overburden their Caravan and force them to discard it. Queens are used to change the direction of a caravan as well as its suit. For example, if I place this Three of Clubs Queen on this descending caravan here, it now becomes an ascending Three of Clubs caravan. But the caravan doesn't lose the value of the cards I placed before. A Jack will remove a card along with any face cards it may have attached to it. A Joker removes all instances of a number card it's placed on from the table. If placed on an 8, then all 8s will be removed from the table both from your side and your opponents. And if you place a joker on an ace, then every card that shares the ace's suit will be removed. Caravan can be played with 14 different NPCs spread across the Mojave, including Johnson Nash who resides in Prim, Dale Barton who can be found at the fort, Ambassador Crocker and Private Jake Irwin at the NCR Embassy are always up for a game, Isaac who is either found at the Gunrunner store or his home to the east of the store, Little Buster at Camp McCarran, Quartermaster Hayes at Camp Forlorn Hope, no Bark, who is either strolling around Novak or in his small house, Jed Masterson, who is at the Northern Passage right before starting Honest Hearts, Ringo Road again, who can be found in Good Springs and will give the player a quick overview and deck of their own to start playing. However, once you complete the quest, Ghost Town Gunfight, Ringo will move to the Crimson Caravan Company and you'll have to go there to play him. Each NPC has a certain limit to the amount of games you can play with them, a certain amount of money in their inventory, and require you to put down some money to play unlike Keith at the Aerotech office park, who is the ideal person to play with if you only want to play for fun and don't want to have to bet money. Fallout New Vegas' Caravan, as well as its other casino games, are a great example of mini games done right. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino too slow paced, and more importantly, no house edge. And it's little touches like this completely new game that add to the immersion of the overall experience and make the world within the game feel all the more real. And now that I have the achievement, I'm never going to play this game again.